Hey guys, it's the Soul Cloth here, and today in this monster analysis video, we're going to be going over Gonzo, and I'm going to be telling you guys whether or not he's worth buying out of the Golden Legends Pass. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Alright, so Gonzo is a support, and his traits are Dodge Area, Possession Immunity, and Team Stamina Regen. Rank 0 is definitely his best trait, that one is really good. Area Dodge is just an amazing trait. And then his rank 3 is pretty decent as well, his rank 1 is kind of bad though. And then his relics are Staff and Amulet, which are pretty good. And then if we go on down to his pros and cons, he has the highest speed stat in the Alpine era, which is amazing. That means that he also has the highest speed stat in the game. He has a great trade, a decent relics, great support and damage boost, stamina restores and evasion, which are all amazing. He also has a team triple damage, which is great. And his elements neutralize each other's weaknesses, which is really good. And his random negative effects that are RNG, meaning you can roll something great. But that is also a con because you can roll something bad. And his other cons are Atrocious Life, best moves to give positive effects to the enemies, and no NER. So let's go on down to the moveset to see exactly what they mean by all that. Alright, so he has an AoE random negative, he also has a team 100% stamina restore with stamina regen and AoE stamina regen, which is great. And then he also has a team evasion and AoE control immunity, which is really good. He has a random negative with a magic damage, which is pretty great. He also has a team triple damage with AoE minor damage boost, which I believe that AoE minor damage boost is on the enemy. And then he has an ally at double damage with 50% stamina restore. He has a team damage boost. And then, yeah, that's pretty much it. So some of these moves, I believe this AoE stamina regen is on the enemies as well. And then the AoE control immunity is probably on the enemies as well. It's weird that it doesn't tell you exactly what i think it's the aoe ones that are towards the enemies and then the team ones are towards your team so this move gives the enemies minor damage boost this move gives the enemies control immunity and this one gives them stamina regen and yeah those are definitely his best moves so that is kind of eh but they are still really really good moves even though they help the enemies so yeah overall this monster just has some really great moves he's a great support he'll be really good for bounty hunts because of that damage boost and stuff and because of the evasion and he can also work in normal multiplayer as well just because he has a bunch of really good moves so yeah if you need a good support go and get gonzo he's not the best in the world because he doesn't have any r or per but yeah he's still pretty good so yeah, let me know down in the comments what you guys think of him though and i'll see you in the next one over to like share and subscribe goodbye